Hey guys, I'm going to get on today and I'm going to do a recipe from my grandmother's cookbook and it's called Cooking uh, with Love and she gave me this book, this cookbook um, and I have some of my recipes are in here as well, but this was done in, this is so cute, you can read that. It says from Grandma Ball, 1992, love you. And she gave it to me on Christmas Eve in 1992. So, <laughs> I just treasure things like this. Do you do the same thing when someone gives you something? Do you keep them or you don't have any sentimental value? Or to you, they're not. But they are to me. And I love they write little personal notes and little things in it. There's a recipe in this book. It's called cabbage soup. I have one that I sort of did my own. But this is this. I'm going a little bit like this, uh, but I've added to it over the years. But it's cabbage. You see, I've got a check. I mean, a check and then a star there. But I have really changed it up a little bit so anyway just stay tuned if you're looking for a soup a hearty soup a good soup and a soup that I think you'll enjoy so stay tuned <laughs> ingredients. One onion, and this is a sweet Vidalia onion. The next one is going to be two cans of diced tomatoes, and this is Publix brand, but you can any of brand that you like. One can of tomato soup, two cans of pinto beans. I'll get it out, y'all. Just bear with me. And one head of cabbage. It asks for chili powder, but what I put in it is mild chili. Um, and I just do it by, it's two teaspoons it wants in it. So I'll just open this up and put two teaspoons or maybe three of this because it has other seasons in it. And I'm going to start with a recipe like that's all you need. Now you need, of course, salt and pepper to taste and two cans of water. Uh, when you do your tomato soup, you add two cans of water, and then we do two of those. Okay, we'll be right back. Whoops, I forgot to mention this. I'm using ground chuck. Um, Ron likes more, my husband likes more um, hamburger or ground chuck in it than it calls for. It calls for one and a half pounds, but I used two pounds or around two pounds. This one has 2.8 pounds, but I'm gonna use every bit of it. He just more, likes more of the meat in it. So, there you go. I'm starting to brown the uh, ground chuck and onions. Okay, guys, you might be cattywampy on this tripod, I don't know. But anyway, I've browned the, the uh, ground chuck and the uh, sweet onions. I've got two cans of pinto beans, and I've got chili. It's not chili powder, but it's the chili that you mix that you can, I didn't have chili powder, so I put a couple of teaspoons of that. I have also going to put on, I'm gonna put the two cans of the diced tomatoes and one can of um, tomato soup with two cans of water and add it and then add my cabbage. When I come back, I'll be adding the cabbage. Okay, I've added the tomatoes, the pinto beans, uh, the chili powder or mix. Um, let's see, onions and ground chuck, and what else? Uh, the tomato soup, two cans of water, and now I'm getting ready to add the cabbage. I will put this on simmer uh, for two hours. So I'll come back when I put get the cabbage in there and you'll see how full it is and what the difference will be when it's done. Okay, you're gonna see it's a little, it's full, but that's a one small head of cabbage, and I just beat it up, just very choppy, just really wanted bite-sized pieces. So I will continue to watch this for a little while. I'll cover it, I'm gonna simmer it. I had mentioned just before that two hours, so just watch, 
And we'll be back when this starts simmering and you'll see how much it goes down. And we'll be back. Okay guys, this is the end of the cooking. Um, I did a little bit over two hours. You can see how chunky and wonderful it is. I hope y'all will enjoy this. Um, I have perfected it over the years. And, well, since I've been doing this, it's 1992. So, just, just, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my husband just got the bread off. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Happy day. Hope you will enjoy this soup, uh, cabbage soup. Uh, like I said, I made it a little bit different, a little bit better. And um, I need to, Ron, will you bring me over the cookbook real quick? But this is so chunky and so good and tomorrow it will even be even better but this is the cookbook that i did at cooking with love y'all have a great day be happy be kind and remember to love one another life is so short until tomorrow love you